That horrific story still unfolding out of Oslo, Norway, the city where they hand out the Nobel Peace Prize under siege today in two deadly attacks playing out one after the other. Here's what we know tonight. More than a dozen dead, and that number could very well go higher. And take a look at the pictures still coming in. First, the bomb blast tearing through the heart of Oslo, targeting government buildings, shattering glass, scattering debris, police rushing to the wounded. Then a short time later and a short distance away, gunfire at a youth camp. A man dressed as a police officer opening fire in a crowd. ABC's Miguel Marquez is in Norway tonight. David, we are in Norway tonight and it is a nation in shock. A country that is known around the world for its peaceful ways is now reeling from terror. The blast shattered this capital city on a sleepy Friday afternoon. I heard a big boom. It was like arriving war scene from some kind of movie, fire, uh, people in the street injured. The streets carpeted with broken glass, windows blown out, smoke rising from the center of town. You can actually smell the, um, the burning from the, from the blast. It looks like a war zone. There was uh, people running around with blood in from the, from the head. It was a kind of panic. The sidewalks quickly became makeshift emergency rooms. Bystanders raced to help the injured, poor in the faces of those who witnessed the carnage. Worse hit a government building home to the prime minister. Luckily, he wasn't there. Also damaged the headquarters of a tabloid newspaper, as well as smaller buildings nearby. Inside those buildings, the dead and those too badly wounded to get out. Rescue efforts lasted into the night, while everyone else in Oslo was warned to stay away from downtown. Then, two hours later, on an island less than an hour away from the capital, a nightmare of a different kind. A man described as tall and blonde, who police have linked to the earlier bombings, opened fire on a camp for teenagers learning about politics. The gunman, dressed as a police officer, opened fire with an automatic weapon. People fled, throwing themselves into the water, trying to swim away. When it was over, a witness described the carnage. 25 to 30 bodies strewn along the shore, some floating in the water. The nation's prime minister was to visit the camp tomorrow. The gunman has been arrested. Tonight, the prime minister told the country not to give in to fear, inspiring words for a nation that hasn't had an attack this bad since World War II.